Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, those that are able, please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of the national anthem, tonight performed by Rochester High School Band. Rochester High School for this conference matchup between the North Miami Lady Warriors and your Rochester Lady Zebras. Time now for the starting lineups. First for the North Miami Lady Warriors, at one guard, a junior number one, Victoria Masters. At the other guard, a senior number 11, Emily Smith. And at one forward, a sophomore, number 10, Lady Musall. The other forward, a senior number 30, Caden Hanley. And in the center tonight, center position of freshman number 21, Caden Donaldson. North Miami is coached by Lori Working. North Miami's four and four, but I mean they've done it against a pretty tough schedule. I yeah. mean they, they're they're pretty battle tested, and they've really beefed up their schedule in the last couple of years. And Lori Working has not uh, evaded anybody. As we get ready, final instructions by the coaches on both sides. I think they, I think they played Hamilton Heights, who's ranked top five team in three A. Um, uh, yes, they did. They lost to them fifty to thirty four. You know, Valley's a top 15 team in 3A. Lost to Culver Academy in 3A, 46-41. So some pretty big schools North Miami's been playing. Here we go, ready for the tip here at Rochester High School. Glad you could join us as the tip is controlled by the North Miami Warriors. And Musil has it. Musil comes to the near side now to Smith. Smith goes back to the top of the key. Smith comes around the screen by Musil. They'll go over the top to Musil. Moving screen by Musil. Yeah. She got away with it. She did. And they bring it back over to the left side. Now here's Masters down in the corner. That's Donaldson. Donaldson has it back up top to Masters. They're trying to look for uh, Hanley in the corner. Hanley gets the screen, rolls off of it, gets it on the right side. Now over the top. Smith, three ball on the way. Off the mark, no good. But North Miami gets the rebound. They give it to Hanley. A cut in the lane, up and good. Hanley for two. Hanley. With the first points of the game, 2-0, North Miami leads. Here's that 1-3-1 put on by North Miami. They're trapping out of it in the half court, and they force Wilson on the sideline, out of bounds. First turnover, Zebras. 7-17 to go here in the first quarter, 2-0 North Miami on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Nice pass by Laney Musil to set up Hanley on that first basket. 
Smith will bring it across the timeline. Smith has it now, left side. Gives it off to Musil. Musil back on the right side. Back up top now to Smith. Into the corner. Fakes it. That is Masters. Kicks it on the far side. Musil down in the paint. Goes to Hanley. Kicks it back out. They go to Hanley again. Hanley in the lane. Kicks it back out. Here's a three ball for Musil. In and out. No good. Rebound fought for. Still on the ground. And we're going to have a tie up. It'll go to the Zebras. So that will give North Miami a chance. And they're going to go back into the half court and just wait on them at the uh, half court line with the 1-3-1. We should mention, I think, we believe Caden Hanley is close to 1,000 career points. I tried to look it up on, as Rochester turns it over, I looked it up on Max Preps. He's five away from 1,000 is what we believe. Now three away after that bucket. As we continue here on a Giant FM and RTC TV Ford back up to the top. And we're going to have it out of bounds. North Miami with the basketball. Three on the way by Hanley, no good. The rebound comes away to Rochester. And now a foul coming against North Miami. It's going to be Smith, her first team first. And we're back here as we get ready to go here with the Zebra basketball. Zebras have it on the far side. Now to Wilson. Wilson in the corner. Wilson now over to Field. Field, 15-footer good. Jaden Field puts the Zebras on the board, and now it's a 2-2 contest. Sorry for the apology for the uh, difficulties on Giant FM. We're back with you here now live at Giant at the ball game. I'm wondering if that's something Rochester got from watching the film from the Valley game against North Miami. Uh, Kelsey Cox of Valley went off for 16, and her specialty is that baseline jump shot. So, Jump shot on the way by. That was Masters who missed. Masters had a good game against Valley. She had 11, but misses her first shot here. Here he is. Zebras with the basketball. It's off to Wilson. Wilson with it now. Wilson, top of the key. I keep having issues with the computer. My apologies. As that's Zebra down on the other end is Hanley. Hanley shot up, no good. I think Field got a piece. Hanley with the basketball. Hanley now it gives it back to Rochester. Rochester has it. They'll go to the other end. Here's Wilson with it. Wilson, right side now to McCarter. McCarter with the basketball. Top of the key to Wilson. Wilson's almost fouled and they don't call anything. Now it goes out of bounds, turnover Rochester. Well, again, against the 1-3-1, the, the baseline jump shot's usually pretty open. So the, but the, the only problem is getting, getting, right. it, getting it there. Rochester, after the turnover, will give it back to North Miami. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Giant FM will hopefully got those fixed now. Still 2-2 two two with four and a half to go here in the first quarter. On the Rochester glass scoreboard, three ball on the way by North Miami's no good. Look at Hanley. Hanley's going to try to get over the back, and she's going to be called for the push, and that's going to be her first. This is about as close to a box and one as you'll ever see Joel Burris play. <laughs> Jaden Fields kind of, it's kind of like a box defense. So now here comes that 1-3-1. Hanley up top of it. Now they give it off to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Back to Wilson up top. Wilson around the screen now. Blocking foul going to be called on Smith. That's going to be her second. Team third. Uh, Lori Working didn't like that call. Two to two and on the Rochester glass. I don't board. think North Miami will play more than six kids in this no, game. No, I don't think so. And so she doesn't want to have to roll the dice with foul trouble. We've seen her <laughs> do that a lot. She'll keep a kid in with three in the first half. She'll, she's. Here's Martin Carter with it on the far side. Double team now. She's got to get through it. Gets it off to Wilson. Wilson quickly over to Clevenger on the right wing. Clevenger over the top now to Bollinger. Bollinger down at the paint. Leaves it for Field up off the glass. Good. Jaden Field has four. And the Zebras take a 4-2 lead here in the contest. 
Set up by some nice ball handling yeah. and passing by Audrey Bollinger. On the other end, here's North Miami. They give it off to Masters, and now a foul coming against the Lady Zebras. And that's going to be on Wilson, her first, team first of the quarter. And North Miami will have it inbound underneath their own basket. 3.40 to go here in this first quarter. 4-2, to two, Rochester leads. They get it in. Here's a three for Musil on the way. No good. Hanley with a rebound. Hanley kicks it back out to Musil, and it's stolen by Wilson. Why did Musil dribble the ball? She was <laughs> wide open. Out ahead quickly is Clevenger with it. She, Clevenger. Dribbled. she dribbled and actually knocked her out of rhythm. And it's back over to the far side. Wilson with it. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger forced way out by Hanley, and it's going to be a turnover on Rochester. Nope, we're going to say touched by North Miami. Okay. I didn't think it was, but they said, the official says it was, so it'll stay with Rochester. Wilson will inbound, gets it to Clevenger. Clevenger in the backcourt. Now comes across, gives it off to McCarter, far side. Back over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Three minutes to go here in the opening quarter. 4-2 Rochester. McCarter kicks it to Clevenger. A wide open three, left wing. Too hard off the back of the iron. And the rebound fought forward. Field comes away with it. Field to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Now she'll dribble back over to Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter, 15-footer. Off the mark, no good. And a rebound comes away to Smith. North Miami gambled a couple times on steals. Didn't get it. Gave up open looks. They... Probably breathing a sigh of relief there. Musil with a basketball. Musil gives it off to Hanley. Left side. Hanley back up top now. Two Masters into the corner. Smith has it into Hanley at the block. She can't handle it. Has to kick it back out. It's going to be last touch by Rochester as it goes out of bounds. Stays with North Miami. 2.25 to go here in the opening quarter. 4-2. to two. Yeah, Coach Burris, you know, clapping his hands. He knows his girls are really con communicating well out there. Audrey Bollinger is tagging. Hanley as she comes through the lane, then passing her off and communicating well. Looking to get it in. They get it into Hanley. She'll fire a three from the right wing off the back of the iron. Field with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson will smartly back it back out as she did not have the numbers. Now they swing it down to Field. Field in the other block. Up off the glass is good. It's 6-2. to two. Jaden Field leads, and North Miami wants a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout, 2.06 to go here in the contest as they lead 6-2, Giant FM on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank, they don't want Talking about the defense on the other end because Jaden Field's just having a heyday. She leads 6-2. Yes, Jaden Field. The Zebras lead too, but Jaden's got them all. Six points and three rebounds as well. Here's North Miami up top. Rochester again in that 2-3. They get it to Hanley. They kick it out. Here's Musil. Three right wing. Off the mark. No good. Gets a real rebound. Throws it in the backcourt. Now it's picked up by Masters. Her shot's missed. Back Kicks it back out. Hanley with the basketball against Field. And now Field's going to pick up a foul as Hanley tries to drive around her. Jaden Field doing a great job on Hanley. And now it'll be North Miami basketball underneath their own basket. A minute 42 to go here in the quarter. Well, first, the first rebound was Musall just following up her own miss. Just great hustle on her part. Smith inbounds it, and Wilson's going to pick up foul that number two. We saw what seven. happened the last time that uh, Aubrey Wilson got in foul trouble. Zebra struggled as well. Quickly coming in will be Braylon Hunter. Wilson will sit down with two fouls. They go to get it in. They get it in to Masters. Masters now over to Smith. Smith with the basketball. Top to Hanley. Hanley into the corner to Musil. Back over to Hanley. They swing it to Smith. Smith penetrates. Throws up a shot. Banks it in. Smith for two. And it's six to four. I think that thing about broke the backboard. Yeah, that was strange. <laughs> Here's Zebras with the basketball. Kind of playing off two feet. She played off almost no feet there, but McC got to go. McCarter and Hanley's going to pick up her foul, number two up top. Foul Team number four. And Coach four. Working complaining to the officials. Well, you can't you can't say call it both ways because they are calling it both ways, <laughs> yes. but they're calling it yeah, they're calling a little, certain way. They're calling it tight tonight. Mm -hmm. You displace the uh, player, you're going to get whistled. Here's McCarter with the basketball. McCarter right side, hits it to Clevenger. Clevenger back to the middle, gives it off to McCarter. 
McCarter needs to dribble down. Bollinger working hard down there. She's got a mismatch. And here's a three on the way for Hunter. No good. The rebound to Hanley. She tips it over to Smith. Quickly ahead to Musil. Right hand layup up. No good. Going to call travel. Turnover number two for North Miami. <laughs> travel on North Miami. Musil had it wide open. Shuffled her feet to make sure she got the, the right foot to lay it in. 40 seconds to go here in the quarter. 6-4 Rochester leads. Here they come to trap McCarter. McCarter in the corner. She's got to get rid of it. And there's a foul. And then either way, it's going to be three. Is it Smith or Hanley? I, it's Smith. Smith going to pick up her third. And that will send Rochester to the line. That'll be McCarter. McCarter. And her first point what opportunity. Here in North Miami in the bonus. For 30 seconds here. Smith just submitted her third foul, and you just put Rochester's best free throw shooter on the line on a foul, what, 35 feet away from the bucket. And a free throw is good for McCarter. Seven to four now. McCarter will have another opportunity. Ellis, I was talking with Elle after the Wabash game. She said she's just amazed by what the freshmen have done. Second but one's I good as well. Said I, I couldn't have done what, what they're doing when I was a freshman. And the thing is, Ella did play some as a freshman. Yeah. Eight to four, Rochester lead. Here's Hanley with the basketball. Under 30 seconds to go. Hanley into the free throw lane. Throws it down low to Donaldson. Donaldson can't handle it. Throws it into the hands of Hunter. Here come the Zebras. 20 seconds to go. Left North, side now to Clevenger. North Miami is the next arrow. Now to McCarter. McCarter right side with 10. McCarter dribbles back over to the left side. Travels. Yep. Shuffle defeat. Turnover number five for Rochester, and that could be damaging because, again, North Miami has the ball, and then they also have the next arrow. So a chance of the double possession here. Here comes North Miami, Hanley with the basketball. Swing it over to the near side. That's Masters back up top at the buzzer for three. No good, and that'll do it for the first quarter. At the end of one on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Zebras lead it 8-4 to four here at Rochester High School. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School again into the first quarter. Rochester leads it 8-4 to four, thanks to Jaden Field with six big points in that first quarter. And uh, Zebras have a four-point lead, and North Miami will have the basketball to start the second quarter. Randy and Val, Steve on the camera. We appreciate uh, you watching and listening to us here this evening for this big TRC matchup. Rochester right now 4-0, looking to move to 5-0. Did I get off to a good start with Hanley get, with North Miami getting an offensive rebound and yeah. Hanley cutting the bucket for a layup? 40 seconds into the game, but she hasn't scored since. And Lenny, Lenny Musall hasn't scored at all. And on two foul, uh, foul trouble. Smith has three for North Miami. Hanley has two. Rochester. Wilson has two in the first quarter. Quickly down to Hanley. It goes through her hands out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on North Miami. And Coach Horky wanted a shove in the back. Zebra basketball, McCarter will bring it up. McCarter crosses the timeline, goes to the left side. McCarter goes down low to field, it's tipped away, and the ball's loose, it'll be a jump ball, and it'll stay with Rochester. Ball. Nice hands by the freshman, Caden Donaldson, to knock it loose, and Jaden Field jumped all over it to tie it up. Kira Springer now in for North Miami. Looking to get it in. Clevens is going to have to hurry. Field wide open, partially blocked by Donaldson. And Donaldson with a rebound. That was a great play by Donaldson. That was. Hanley with the basketball. Now up to the top two of Masters. Masters has it left side. Now to Hanley. Hanley back to Masters. Cross over the top to Musil. They go down low. They look for Donaldson. They can't get it to her. Ball's knocked loose. And a jump ball. It'll stay with North Miami. I was afraid they were going to call Ella McCarter for rolling on the uh, out-of-bounds line. Yeah, the jump ball is yeah. preferable to uh, Ella being called out-of-bounds. Good, good quick hands by Ella there. Masters looking to get it in. Over the top, they get it to Hanley. Hanley has the basketball. Now over to Springer, back over to Masters. Masters goes down low to Donaldson. Back to, yeah, got away with the travel. Hanley with the basketball. Over the top to Masters. Masters to Hanley. 
Hanley guarded by Hunter. Now they give it to Masters. Masters has it tipped by McCarter, but Hanley goes and gets it. Hanley back over to Musel. North Miami just looks out of rhythm right now. Can't get anything going. Can't get a touch in the paint. No. Here is Hanley. Hanley gets it. Now Mullinger is going to pick up a foul. Unfortunately, reached over the top. And that's going to be her first team first of the quarter. It'll be North Miami basketball out of bounds. In the big picture, it's not a big deal because it's, they're not, obviously it's the first foul of the quarter, but it, <coughs> that's not a player who's a big threat to score from that spot. And I think right. that's why Coach Burris was upset. Springer with a basketball. They try to go into Donaldson. Donaldson has it knocked loose. Still loose on the ground. Masters and Clevenger will be tied up. It'll go to Rochester. Turnover, North Miami. Five turnovers for each team so far. Clevenger with the basketball. She'll walk it across, give it off to McCarter. Top of the key. Now Clevenger left side. She's being chased out. Now she'll get it back up top. Hanley at that top of the 1-3-1. Here's McCarter. Dribbles in. Now gets trapped. She's got to get rid of it. Finally does to Hunter. Good defensive rotation by Masters. Yeah. She was right there. Clevenger back to McCarter. McCarter on the right side, or excuse me, on the left side. Now back up top. Now the Zebras will move it to the right side. They're looking down low. Bollinger has it up off the glass in. Good and a foul. I called that one earlier as Bollinger has been working hard and she's being guarded by Masters who gives up three or four inches. And the Zebras finally get it to Bollinger. She picks up the foul. Oh, the special part of that play was the pass by Riley Clevenger. How did that get there? I mean, that had... <laughs> This much space to get there, and she got it there. Donaldson with the foul, her first, team first. Free throw on the way for Bollinger is no good. Hanley with the rebound. Hanley quickly ahead to Musel. Musel has it, left side. Now they go over to Masters. Over the top to Hanley. She'll fire three from the right wing. Off the mark, no good. And McCarter rips the rebound. Here comes Ella McCarter with the basketball. Five and a half to go, 10 to four. Rochester leads. Hunter, turnaround jumper at free throw lane. Good. Raylan Hunter is on the board for the first time, and the Zebras extend it 12 to four. And playing that high post spot in the zone, not Ella yeah. McCarter. That's another sign that Coach Burris and the coaching staff are growing in confidence with Braylon. There's Masters with it, now to Hanley. Hanley on the right side, dribbles down. Hanley. Gives it up to Donaldson. Donaldson gives it to Springer on a cut and a foul coming. And that's going to be on 33 McCarter, her first, team second of the quarter. And here comes Emily Smith back in the game with three fouls. Yeah. And sitting down will be uh, this, this Donaldson. It's Riverboat Lori. I mean, <laughs> she's she's done this often in her career. I've Musel for three on the inbound. Good. Her first points of the game, 12 to seven. Don't want to get her on a streak. Here's McCarter. Somebody forgot all about her on the inbounds. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger now double team. She's gonna to have to hurry. Pass is stolen. Turnover Rochester, quickly ahead to Hanley. Hanley against McCarter, up no good. McCarter, great defense. Bowling her with the rebound. Yeah, great defense to shut down Hanley in the open court. Easier said than done. Quickly ahead now to McCarter. McCarter gets it back. McCarter, left side. McCarter to Clevenger. Clevenger dribbles down, picks it up. Now to Hunter. Hunter tries to go down low. you got to get it at the angle. You can't make that pass from the top. I swear it's like there are two or three of Caden Hanley. <laughs> are you sure there's only one of them? Yeah. Hottishell comes in. First time tonight she'll replace Jaden Field. 12 to 7, our score with 4.22 to go here before halftime on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. And the thing about Mia is she knows her job defensively. Here is Hottishell with it. Hottishell to Clevenger. Clevenger, 15 footer, good. Riley, Riley Clevenger on the board for the first time, and it's 14 to 7. Hottishell with the assist. Here is Smith with it. Smith, now to Hanley, left side. She'll try a three, good. Hanley's now has five, and it's a four-point zero lead, a 14 to 10. Apparently that was Hanley's thousandth point, according to the, to the uh, stands. <laughs> yep. 
Here is Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger to McCarter. McCarter has it. Now back to Clevenger. Clevenger over to the top to McCarter. McCarter back to Clevenger. Left, or left side three on the way for her. No good. Rebound, Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it to Hunter, and it's stolen by Hanley. you got to take it at Smith. She's got three fouls. Right. Here comes a foul on Clevenger, I believe. And it is going to be on Riley Clevenger. First, team third. Ladies and gentlemen, and they're going to uh, give a presentation. Uh, Kate Handley. Passing her 1,000th point in her career. Congratulations to Kate Handley with that three pointer. Now, knowing that, that might explain why she was playing a little tight. I uh, coached a few players that get it during the season. That game, when you can uh, get that 1,000 point, Val, it just seems like there's a lot of pressure. But after you yeah. get it, look out, because then they then they yeah. get back to normal. So we'll wait and see uh, what happens here. And Caden Hanley's normal is a lot better than most teams normal. <laughs> so they do let each team uh, get a timeout. Must be a, a media timeout. I didn't know they were going to do that, but we'll keep it here. Uh, it's 14 to 10, our score now with 3.13 to go. Here in this uh, third or in this second period, Rochester uh, foul trouble. Aubrey Wilson with two, and as we mentioned, North Miami uh, Emily Smith back on the, the court with three fouls. Caden Hadley has two as well for North Miami. So we'll wait and see how Coach Working uh, plays that. Obviously, uh, very aggressive one-three-one at the top. So, and Hadley is at the top of that, chasing everybody. Yeah, so and the, thing, the thing is, you know, when you play on top of the 1-3-1, one, one, it gets exhausting after yeah. a while. You just you could tell a couple times where, where she was. very looks Looked very exhausting, and then she comes mm -hmm. down the other end and hits a three. So, mm -hmm. Well, you know, her, her it's, really, it's really neat that she got it on a three-pointer because she wasn't yeah. really a big threat from the perimeter at the start of her high school career. She's really, you can tell she's really worked on that shot. So now after the timeout, Smith will have it, gives it off now to Masters. Back up to the top to Smith. They go in the middle to Springer. Springer is going to be tied up. It'll stay with North Miami. North Miami will have it back underneath their own basket. 3.01 to go. A 4.0 lead, 14 to 10 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here's the inbounds pass. Masters gets it in. She, she gets it back to Smith. Now over to Musel. Top of the key to Hanley. Now over to Smith. Smith into Hanley. Can't handle the pass. Hunter picks up the steal. Oh, Here comes the Zebras. Pass. McCarter quickly down the floor. Gives it off to Hottishell. Three in the corner. No good. Field battles for the rebound, and she's going to be whistled for a foul. And Springer. Well, Hanley's walking mm -hmm. the other way. No. No. Oh, he... oh. yep. It is going to be on 15 field, her second. Second, and of team, team fourth of the quarter. That'll bring Mollinger back in and sit down field. 2.39 to go. So Wilson and Field both on the bench with two fouls each for Rochester. Here comes Smith with the basketball. Smith has it across. Now over to Springer. Back up top to Musel. Musel has it. Right side now to Smith. Looking down low to Hanley. They get it to her at the block. She's double teamed. Ball's knocked loose. It'll go off of Rochester. Stay with North Miami. Well, I think Ella thought the ball went off yeah. North Miami. She let it go. Yeah. I was thinking that it would be Rochester's ball. With Donaldson on the bench, Hanley's kind of their main threat now in the post. Right. So now Smith will inbound. Smith triggers it off the back of McCarter. Picks it up. Brings it into Hanley. Up off the glass. No good. And now McCarter's going to pick up a foul as she goes shoving Springer for the rebound, and that's McCarter's second, Rochester team fifth. So now First Rochester team puts team North Miami at the free throw line with 2.18 to go in the quarter. Springer now to the line to shoot two. Springer coming off the bench, no points so far, gets her first free throw. 14 to 11, have an opportunity to cut this lead down to two. Second free throw for Springer off the mark. McCarter with the rebound. 14 to 11. 
Rochester looks to push. Here's McCarter with the basketball. Gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, double team. Ball's knocked loose. Hunter picks it up. Now in the right corner to Hottishell. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Ball's loose. Musel picks it up. That was a nice pass by Braylon Hunter. Smith has it. Back to Musel. Back to Smith. Top of the key. Dale at the, the volleyball line. Goes around Hunter. Gives it off to Musel. Now into Masters. She'll fire a three from the left wing. Off the mark. No good. And rebound, North Miami. Back to Hanley. Hanley around the defender. Kicks it out to Smith. Foot was on the line. A two, no good. Bollinger gets the rebound. Well, Emily Smith has done a lot of nice things since she came back in the game. Here's McCarter with it. McCarter has the basketball. Dribbles over. Gives it to Clevenger. Tejada shell in the corner. Back up top to Hunter. She'll fire three straight away. Off the mark, no good. Useful with the rebound. A minute 20 to go. 14 to 11. Smith has it, top of the key. Back over to the right side. Now they give it back to Smith. Back to Masters. You can tell that Braylon Hunter's kind of at where yeah. Laney Musall was at one year ago. Here's a three for Musall off the mark, no good. Bollinger with another rebound. And we're gonna have a foul. And it's gonna be whistled against North Miami, North Miami Springer. Springer. That'll be her first. first team second, team second of the quarter. So with 60 seconds remaining, Rochester has a three-point lead. And the arrow. So if they can get a double possession here to end the quarter, start the third. Donaldson in and Smith back on the bench. Here's McCarter with it to Clevenger. Clevenger holds, waiting on him to come. Now she'll dribble and then she'll get trapped. Stolen by Hanley. Hanley with the steal and the right hand layup good. There's where Coach Burris said she gets the majority of her points and she's got seven now and it's 14-13, a one point zero lead. Here's McCarter with it. McCarter trapped. McCarter then is gonna be fouled and if that's on Hanley, that's gonna be three. And nope, they're gonna get Springer. Springer second, team third. That could have easily went on Hanley. Coach working, getting a breather there. 26 to six, or 26.6 seconds to go. Zebras get it after the foul. The Carter will have it. She'll stand at the top. Gets a screen by Hunter, which could have been a moving screen. Now they go to Hunter, free throw line jumper, partially blocked, rebound comes away to North Miami. 10 seconds, here's Musel with it. Out of Hanley, Hanley. Back to Masters, Musil on the far side with four. Over the top to Hanley, three at the buzzer. No good, and that's going to do it at halftime. 14-13, Rochester leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the postgame show, or the halftime show brought to you by Odell Lumber. Locally owned and operated Odell Lumber, your locally building supplier. Back with more, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School, ready to start the third quarter. Getting Zebras lead it by one, to 14 to 13. Val, what's Rochester got to do? You know, Randy, I got to make a quick correction. I wrote about Sheila McMillan Keller, and uh, she is not the all-time leading scorer in Rochester girls basketball history. Courtney Felke is yes. 1707. Sheila had 1696. And I like to think Tony Stasiak had much better things to do today uh, <laughs> than that for helping correct it. Uh, us on that. So, well, that, Courtney, oh. Courtney, you're the, you are the, you are the queen. <laughs> Sheila was the number one leading scorer at the time. At she the time she did it, in, yes. in 1995. Yep. Right. Courtney got it. No four. Mm -hmm. She broke it down at the state. There's a three for Clevenger to start the quarter, and it's good. And the Zebras back up on top by four. And oh. now Clevenger with uh, five points. That was a rainbow. That yeah. to spend a little extra time in the air. Here's North Miami now with the basketball to Smith. Now down in the corner to Musil, trying to get it to Haight. And a foul, nope, jump ball as a nice job by Field to knock it loose, but it'll stay with North Miami as Zebra's had it to start the third quarter. 17-13. You know, Jaden Field's a post, but she moves like a wing. They get in the corner. Here's three ball on the way, and that is good for Masters. Three for Masters. So we're going to match threes to start the quarter. It's back to a one-point zebra lead, and Wilson throws it away. Turnover, Rochester. And yeah, she gave up her dribble too early. And North Miami now will bring it across the timeline. Into the corner to Hanley. Hanley 
Thought uh, Donaldson was cutting, I think, and she didn't. Threw it right in the hands of the Zebras. Yeah, that, that was a set that the bench called, and yeah. I don't know what happened there. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson goes down low to field, kicks it out to Clevenger. Back to Wilson in the corner. Back to Clevenger. Got to get some space here. Zebras uh, balled up in this left side. Now here's Wilson. Has it. Now to Clevenger on the far side. Going to McCarter at the elbow. Kicks it back out. Another three on the way for Riley. Clevenger good again. She's got back-to-back -back threes, 20-16. to 16. And starting to get Ella McCarter more involved in the offense at that high post. Ella was really like, kind of like yeah. wanting the ball. Rochester can play two-guard front, then that will make things easier. Masters has it down low, gives it to Donaldson. She's double-teamed, got to get rid of it. Finally to Musel. Musel on the near side. Now they swing it to Hanley. Hanley drives into the paint, elbow running jumper, short. McCarter with the rebound. She'll clear it out, give it to McCarter, to Clevenger. Now to Wilson. Wilson, right in front of the Zebra bench, is going to be double teamed, dribbles into the corner, and she's going to be battled out by North Miami with a foul. Yeah, I was just going to say, that was not what you want to do. And, and that's, that's Smith's fourth. So Coach Working going to go back to the bench. Early here in the third quarter, Smith will sit down and Springer will come back in. And in time, Aubrey is just going to say, I'm not going to dribble it off to the side. I'm going to no. dribble right to the basket. Yeah. And I'm strong enough that I can make it happen. Field looking to get it in. Gets it into McCarter at the block. She's triple teamed. Has it stolen by Hanley. Great defense by Hanley. Hanley will bring it up herself. Crossover in front of Clevenger. She loses it. Goes and picks it up. And now a foul on Clevenger as she tries to go for the steal. And that's going to be her first team first of the quarter. Or excuse me, her second. Team first of the quarter. Randy Valentin and uh, Steve on the camera. Glad you could join us. That's another aspect that Caden Hanley has really improved on over the years. She's improved her handle. Here is Masters. She has the basketball for North Miami. Back over the top to Musel. Picked up by McCarter. They go into uh, Donaldson and a foul coming on Bollinger. She reaches around. I think she plays straight up defense. She's okay. And she reached around, tried to tip it away. And got called for the reach in. Right, and I think with Donaldson, you've got to kind of make her right. earn make, it. Make her earn or make her score on you before you get too handsy. Donaldson fires one in from the out of bounds to, or excuse me, Springer going to Donaldson. It's stolen by Rochester. Wilson, three on the way from the left wing. That is off the mark. A long rebound comes away to Donaldson. Here comes North Miami. 20 kinda, to 16. I kind of like that shot. Yeah, I, know it it's a good. Quick, I know it's a quick three, but I, uh, you, Aubrey, Aubrey needs to be a little more aggressive offensively. Here's Musel with the basketball. Now the Masters. Masters back up top to Hanley. To Musel on the right wing. Dribbles down. Now reverses it back up. They go to the clear to the other side to Masters. She tries to go around McCarter. Can't do so. Musel in the paint. Jumper on the way. No good. Good clear out, but McCarter cleared out her player, but nobody else did. And North Miami gets the rebound. And Bollinger picks up the third foul and third of the team for the quarter. 20 to 16. North Miami looking to get it in. And Wilson steals the pass. Here comes Wilson, Aubrey, right down the middle this time. Off to Clevenger, right side, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Heat check there. And now North Miami with the basketball. Musel has it, crosses over. Gives it off now to Masters and Coach Working wants a timeout. It is going to be a 30-second timeout with 4.28 to go in the third. Four-point zebra lead, 20-16. to 16. Giant FM and RTC TV4. But if you get them to run out of yeah. you, that'll right. help open the passing lanes a little bit, which I've been thinking has been kind of jammed up. Here's Smith. Yeah, I agree. Smith with it. Smith around the defender. Now in down low to Hanley. And McCarter is going to pick up a foul, and that's going to be her third. Team fourth. North Miami right now just attacking, getting in Rochester into foul trouble. Because now McCarter with three, Bollinger with three. Musil on the inbound, three on the way, no good. Hanley gets the rebound. Hanley right back up, going to travel. Yep, she did. If she had went back up first time, but she kind of brought it down and readjusted and shifted her feet. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. It's a four-point zebra lead, 2016. Here's Hanley. They jump Wilson. 
Now she has to pick it up and give it up to Clevenger. Clevenger, left side. Clevenger, looking, looking. She's going to have to get it back to Wilson on the far side. Wilson, down in the corner, now brings it back up, and a blocking foul on Hanley. And it's going to be number three on her in just the second of the quarter. So it'll be Zebra basketball on the far side to inbound. They get it to Clevenger. Clevenger will bring it across the timeline now to Wilson. And you've got to get the ball to Fielder or even Bowling or Smith is the. Yeah, Rochester hasn't had a look inside. Now they get it to Field. Field, turnaround jumper off the mark, no good. Or excuse me, that was Bollinger. Field gets the is offensive rebound, and that's Smith. She is done. It is. That is Smith's fifth. She will foul out with two points. And that will bring Springer back into the lineup. Coach Working rolled the dice with Smith. Zebras will inbound underneath her basket to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Back up top to McCarter. McCarter. Now they are in. Still in that 1-3-1, one, one, or are they gone man? I'm trying to, looks like they might have manned up. North Miami now going man against Rochester. Hanley will be guarding field. Here's McCarter with it against Donaldson. McCarter into the paint, kicks it out to Wilson. Back up top to Clevenger. Wilson to McCarter in the corner. Up top, Hunter. Hunter now in the game for Bollinger. McCarter. Dribbles to the right side. Clevenger, three on the way for her good. Clevenger now in double digits. 23-16. She's got 11, nine in the quarter. R the far side R Masters. RJ stands for Riley's jumper. <laughs> Here's a Musil with a jumper short. Hanley with the rebound. Falling away, throws it back up and good. Hanley's first points of the quarter. It's 23-18, Zebra's lead. Clevenger down in the corner, McCarter. She'll fire a three off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for. And Field gets it, goes up, no good. Field goes up a second time, good to foul. And that foul is going to be whistled against Springer. That foul North Miami's Kate Donaldson. Nope, nope, my apologies, Donaldson, her second. Team number four, and Field has eight. Now she'll go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. And rattles it home. That unpredictable Jaden Field free throw. <laughs> well, it's predicted that you never know what it's going to do. She finally gets a bounce. She did. 26-18, biggest lead of the night for Rochester. Here's Musel with the basketball. Zebra's in that 2-3 zone. Musel dribbles in. Running jumper. Off the mark. No good. McCarter with the rebound. Zebras have the North Miami Lady Warriors rattled right now. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Now off to Clevenger. Now they're back to that 1-3-1 and Hanley back up top. Hunter with it. Oh, Braylon's got to look in the post. The cross-court pass stolen by Musel. Musel one-on-one, -on -one, layup up short. Hanley with the rebound, tips it to Musel. Her fadeaway jumper's no good and... We're going to have a foul. I believe it's going to be on the floor against Rochester. North Miami will go to the line to shoot free throws. And it's going to be McCarter. That's her fourth. And that'll send North Miami to the line to shoot two because of the fifth foul. So Donaldson will go to the line to shoot two free throws. She is scoreless tonight. And that free throw is short off the front of the iron. 90 seconds remaining in the quarter. Well, Donaldson's going to be a good one. And, yep. and she, was a very, she had a very good volleyball season as a freshman. She's That one rattles home, and so one for two for Donaldson. And it's 26-19. Again, they've got to... It, Braylon Hunter, when she talked about it, she didn't even look in the post. No, she did not. And over the top, Wilson... Wilson has the basketball, brings it to the near side. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson. Ooh. Minute 10. Now to McCarter on the wing. Back up top to Wilson. 
Zebras looking to try to run the clock. 60 seconds remaining. Nope, guess they're not. McCarter with an open shot at the free throw line. Good. Biggest lead of the game. 28-19. 50 seconds. Here's Musel with the basketball for North Miami. Gives it off to Masters. Back up to Hanley. Hanley, elbow jumper. Short. And the rebound is going to come to North Miami and a foul on Rochester. And it's going to be whistled against Hunter. It's going to be Hunter's first. And to the line goes back Donaldson. She was just one for two. She makes her first one here. And now it's 28-20. Bollinger back in for McCarter. 43.1 second to go. One more free throw for Donaldson. Right, Rochester has the next arrow, so possible double possession here for the Lady Zebras. And the free throw is missed. But Hunter with the rebound. 40 seconds to go. Here comes Clevenger. Nice rebound by Braylon Hunter. That was not easy. Wilson has the basketball. Now she's going to be trapped. She's going to have to dribble out of it. Nice job by Wilson. Now she looks to reverse the basketball to Clevenger. Clevenger back to Wilson. Yeah, 25 if you get, seconds. If you get trapped, it might be worth taking a timeout here. And Wilson gives it off to Hunter. Hunter fires up a shot at the elbow. No good. Field fights for the rebound, but, ooh, going to say knocked out of bounds by Musel. Ooh, Zebras get a break, I think, there. Because that one looks like Hunter might have knocked that one out. Not a good shot by Hunter. Field. That one's a must make. This is. Yeah. Field will inbound. Field steps on the line. Yep, she did. Over on the line. And turnover on the Zebras. 17 seconds to go. North Miami could cut this lead. Let's see if they run the set to get Hanley an open look. It'll be Masters. Now to Musel. Hanley down in the corner. She's going to run that baseline. Looks like she's going to kind of roll out of it with four. Here she comes. Flare they try screen. to get to it. It's tipped at the buzzer. Half quarter is no good. And it's where we stand at the end of three quarters. Rochester up eight, 28 to 20 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the fourth quarter after this. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School as we get ready to start the fourth and final quarter. 28-20, Zebras lead by eight. It'll be Zebra basketball to start the quarter. You know, Victoria Masters hit that three to start the third quarter. She has not been very involved offensively no. since. In fact, she wasn't very involved offensively before that. She scored 11 against Valley the other night. Speaking of Valley, they lead, lead Winnemac 37-21 at the end of the third. Here's a... Ball knocked loose. North Miami almost had it, but knocked loose again. Rochester picks it up. Also, North Miami looked a little tired there toward the end of the third quarter. They have it. Hunter at the elbow. Travels. Yep. Shifted her feet as the pressure put it, picked up maybe a little bit by North yeah. Miami. And I think as Braylon was probably told that last shot she took toward the end of the third uh -huh. quarter was a bad shot. So there she catches the ball. She's not even looking at the rim, and I think that would have been a good shot. 30 seconds gone by in the quarter, still 28-20. Here's Musil with the basketball for the Warriors. They go right side to Spring, left side Springer, back over the corner. Now Hanley with it. Hanley is going to be fouled as she dribbles the uh, baseline. And is that on field or Bollinger? It's field. That's her third. So foul trouble like this. McCarter's on the bench with four. Bollinger and Field both with three. Wilson has two. She got those early, so doing a great job of staying out of foul trouble. Here's the inbound pass put up by Musel. No good. And now a foul in North Miami. Now this is. And that's going to be Laney Musel. And that's going to be her first team first. Just kind of a rough night for Laney Musel. Yeah. She has never failed to impress us when we've seen her. So it'll be Rochester basketball. Wilson brings it across the timeline. And there is now Clevenger with it. Clevenger going to get a foul called against Masters as she's trying to put pressure on Clevenger. It's going to be her first. Masters uh, put a green jacket <laughs> on Clevenger there. Her first. Team second. North Miami to inbound. Or Rochester an inbound. Hunter tries to save it from going out of bounds right into the hands of North Miami. Here comes North Miami and the bench for Rochester and Hottishell McCarter will check in. Next opportunity. 
Hanley with the basketball. Hanley to Musil, 15-footer off the mark, no good. Springer with a rebound, she hands it off to Masters, back to Musil. There's Hanley, three right side, in and out, no good. Rebound fought for, we're gonna have jump ball, and we'll stay with North Miami. And McConaughey leads Peru 33-17 at the half, another TRC matchup. Hunter and Bollinger sit down for Rochester. McCarter, how to shell in. Well, I thought that shot by Hanley was for sure going in. It looked dead eye. Somehow didn't go in. Here's Musil with the basketball. I'll Musel. say this about Laney Musil. I don't think she's taking a bad shot. She just hasn't gotten yeah. one to go. There is a bad shot by Hanley. She forced that one, but North Miami gets another rebound. Back low to Hanley. Turnaround jumper up and good. She made up for it there. It's down to 6-point zebra lead, 28-22. Three-quarter court pressure now by North Miami. Wilson travels. North Miami has picked up the intensity a little bit, picking them up at three quarters. Three turnovers this quarter for Rochester already. We haven't even played two minutes yet. And again, Coach Burris has all his timeouts left. Musil has it. Masters now to Hanley. Hanley back to Musil. Back to Hanley in the corner to Masters. Under six now, Hanley has it. She'll dribble it back out, gives it up top to Masters. To Musil, back to Masters. Hanley cuts the lane, she gets it right to the hole, she goes, misses it, and the rebound comes away to field. I think Hanley looks a little tired yeah. out there. And you miss that, her missing that shot is a sign that she might not have it, uh, a lot of juice in the legs tonight. And Wilson now with the basketball, five and a half to go, Zebras lead by six, 28-22. Hottishell is clobbered as she is fouled by, that's going to be on Springer. Springer thought she was going to shoot it, and she goes out and knocks her down. It'll be her third, team third. A little bit of salesmanship by Mia. <laughs> Hottishell the inbound. Looking to get it in. Going to have to hurry. They do over the top now to Wilson. Wilson has the basketball. Wilson, right side now to McCarter. Back to Wilson, top of the key. North Miami and a man. Here comes Clevenger. She picks the ball up. But She's guarded by Musel. But I think it's kind of switch on everything. Yeah. Or, well, no, it's, no it's a, I think it's a zone. I... Man, and now here's Springer coming out on Clevenger. Three on the way, no good. Hanley fights for the rebound and almost, uh, Donaldson almost knocked it out of her hands, but she does pick it back up. North Miami has it now, trailing by six. In field, neither Field nor Bowling are going to touch there. Musil with the rebound. Top now to Hanley. They can look it down low to Donaldson. Can't get it to her. Well, obviously Bowling is on the bench, yeah. so she's got a good excuse for not touching the ball. But <laughs> Here's Masters. Dribbles between two zebras. Stolen by Clevenger. Four and a half to go. Quickly ahead to Wilson. Down in the corner, back up top to McCarter, swings it left side now, here's Hottishell, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, Wilson comes away with it. And a kick basketball by Hanley, it'll stay with, Nor or with Rochester. Ooh, that was dangerous, again, you got five timeouts left. There's no, if you throw yeah. any pass with Hanley in the neighborhood, it's just dangerous. That would, have been, that would have been a dagger of how to shell shot would have gone in. It was a wide open look. Here's Clevenger for three. Good! Riley Clevenger. Makes it a 31-22 contest. Zebra's up. Here's Hanley right to the hole. Hanley is fouled before the shot. It's going to be on the floor. And that's going to be on Jaden Field, and that's going to be her fourth. Team second. Nope. Jeez. I apologize to Jaden Field. And that's going to be a Wilson. Her third, team second. Watch for an inbounds play here. Masters getting into Hanley. She'll fire a three. No good. Rebound, Donaldson. Well, they set a screen to get Hanley. Now to Musil. Blocked oh, by Field. Block. Field gets the rebound as well. Under four. Zebras, 31 22. McCarter. Over the top of Hanley, stolen by Hanley. Ahead to Musil, right hand layup, up and no good, but a foul coming. And if that's on Wilson, that's gonna be her fourth. Well, it is. Fourth. Team, third. Team third, but that will put Musil at the line to shoot free throws, her first chance tonight. She's got three points, a three in the second quarter. 
Free throw on the way is good. 31-23, Mullinger in, Hottishell out for Rochester. North Miami won a sectional two years ago in Class 1A and then won a sectional last year in Class 2A. Here he is, Mrs. Sacco in, good again. And guess where the sectional is this year? North Miami. It's at North Miami, so both of these teams will be hosting their sectional. Full court press by the Warriors this time. North Rochester breaks it fairly easy in the backcourt. But now Hanley is going to be whistled for a foul, and that's going to be her fourth. So with two or three thirty-nine to go, Smith's already fouled out for North Miami. Now Hanley picks up her fourth, and Springer on the floor for North Miami has three. Wilson has four. Field has four. McCarter has or Field has three. Bullinger three. McCarter four. Loose ball going to be tied up. It'll stay with Rochester. Again, just trying to trying to dribble through a double team. Yeah, it's just it's scary, especially yeah. with Hanley. I know I know Hanley's got four fouls and she's got her own problems, but you got five timeouts left. Don't get caught Here in a bad Wilson. spot. Wilson with the basketball throws it in the backcourt, picked up, stolen by Hanley. Off to Masters, quickly ahead to Musil, back to Masters. Now to Hanley, left side, Masters top of the key to Musil. Musil has it, cuts the paint, makes the pass to Hanley, tipped by Rochester, Clevenger comes away with it. Was that Bollinger got a hand on it? Bollinger, or excuse me, Field at the other end. Yes, Bollinger got a hand. Field gets the basket on the other end, and we get a timeout, Rochester. 33-24, it's a... 60-second timeout. We'll be back after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. And uh, some foul trouble starting to add up for both teams. Rochester calls the timeout after a made basket. And we'll see what happens. Nine. Oh, my math. Yeah, not very good, is it? Thanks, Steve. North Miami has attempted the mime speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my, it, it, it's a Thursday. I don't do math on Thursday. North Miami really missing Emily Smith out on the court she and is. just her leadership. Yeah. She fouled out with, if you're joining us late, she fouled out with 334 to go in the third quarter. So here's North Miami with the basketball, trailing by nine. Go to the left side to Hanley. Now up top to Musel. Musel with the basketball. Here's Springer with it. Back to Hanley, top of the key. Zebras is still in that 2-3 zone. Hanley splits it, goes up, and uh, going to be fouled before. As that one's on the floor, but it's going to be whistled against. Bollinger, I think. It is on Bollinger. So now she has four, along with McCarter. North Miami inbound. Masters to trigger it. Masters looking, looking over the top to Hanley. Hanley. Will drive the lane, throws it to Donaldson. Donaldson in the paint, goes up. No, does not get the roll. But Carter with the rebound. Yeah, just didn't go up strong and didn't use the backboard. Quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson looking at the block, can't get it to Bollinger, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Wilson, step back three on the way, good. Wilson with her first points of the night. Now it makes it a 12 point zebra lead. Biggest lead of the game. That was almost another no, 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 yes. Yeah. Here's Hanley taking it herself to the hole, up and good. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. 10 point game, 36 26. I mean, here's full court pressure put on. Wilson breaks the timeline. Wilson gets it off to McCarter. McCarter has it knocked loose and picked up in the backcourt by Musel. Musel now taking McCarter to the hole, up and too hard. Masters with the rebound, too hard. Musel with the rebound. Gets it out to Hanley. She'll fire a three ball off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound towards Miami. Here's Masters, a 10-footer good. Great rebound by Springer there. 36-28, a minute 20 to go here in the contest. You've got four timeouts left. Clevenger gets it ahead. Now here's Wilson with the basketball. 36-28, Zebras lead. Wilson is going to be fouled. Or we got a timeout. I think we have a timeout by Coach Burris. 
Coach Burris calls the timeout before the foul. It's a 60 second, we'll take it as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball on Giant FM and RTC TV4. After the timeout, McCarter gets the inbound pass. Goes to Wilson, travels. McCarter, as she was making the pass on the jump stop, they say, is where she traveled. So with a minute six. Rochester's committed seven turnovers this quarter, but thankfully they haven't lost anything for them. They haven't lost anything off the lead. Led by eight, still lead by eight. Musel for three, short. Donaldson with a rebound. One dribble out to Hanley. Her three on the way. Long on the back of the iron. Musel with the rebound. Here is Masters. She'll dribble in. Kick it to Hanley. Hanley dribbles in. Picks it up, now back to Masters. Under a minute, 45 seconds to go. Musel to Hanley. North Miami's gonna have to hurry. Stolen by the Zebras, knocked loose. Wilson picks it up, and a foul coming. And Rochester will go to the end and shoot free throws, and that's gonna be called on Musel. Musel, her second, team fifth. Rochester will go to the line with a 36-28 lead and two free throws coming for Aubrey Wilson. And North Miami got three shots on that possession. Yeah. I mean, they're just, they're getting every rebound. And right now a missed shot for North Miami is, is a good offensive play, but it, Wilson with her first one good. Having said that, it just doesn't seem like Musall or Hanley has a lot of starch in their legs left for whatever reason. Push this back to 10 with Can 36 seconds to go. Free North, throw on the way. North Miami hasn't played since last Friday, so Good. I don't know why they would be tired or why they would look tired, but they look seem tired, and this, this ball game's all about, oh, just about over. 10-point lead, 30 seconds to go. Handling with it. Back to Musel. Musel into the paint, kicks it out. Masters will fire a three and hits the top of the backboard. It'll be out of bounds, Rochester. But it didn't hit the top of the backboard. It hit the stanchion that holds up the basket. Top of the backboard is in play. The stanchion 30, is out of play. 38-28. Zebras get it in on the full court press. 20 seconds to go. Over the top to Wilson. Wilson will get it across the timeline, and the Zebras will win it tonight. 38-28 our score. Rochester will look to run the clock out, and that'll be it. Huge win. I mean, they lost the last two years. North Miami, last time they played here two years ago, North Miami destroyed Rochester. 38-28 for final here tonight. The Zebras stay perfect at 4-0, or excuse me, at 5-0 now in the TRC. Improved to 7-6 overall. North Miami will drop to 4-5 overall and 2-2 two and two now in the conference. Post game show on the way brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins when we come back. Again, the final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras 38, North Miami 28. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Over the top now to Bollinger. Bollinger down at the paint, leaves it for Field up off the glass. Good. Jaden Field has four. He'll smartly back it back out as she did not have the numbers. Now they swing it down to Field. Field in the other block, up off the glass is good. Back up top, now the Zebras will move it to the right side. They're looking down low. Bollinger has it up off the glass and good and a foul. Here is Hottishell with it, Hottishell to Clevenger. Clevenger, 15 footer, good. Riley Clevenger on the board for the assist. Here is Smith with it. Smith, now to Hanley, left side, she'll try a three, good. Far side, going to McCarter at the elbow, kicks it back out, and there's a three on the way for Riley Clevenger, good again. Carter dribbles to the right side. Clevenger, three on the way for her good. Carter, she'll fire a three off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. And Field gets it, goes up. No good. Zebra's looking to try to run the clock. 60 seconds remaining. Nope, guess they're not. McCarter with an open shot at the free throw line. Good. That would have been, that would have been a dagger of how to shell shot would have gone in. It was a wide open look. Here's Clevenger for three. Good. No good. Rebound, Donaldson. Well, they set a screen to get Hanley. Now to Musel. Blocked oh, by what Field. A block. Field gets the rebound. Tipped by Rochester. Clevenger comes away with it. Was that Bollinger got a hand on it? 
Bollinger, or excuse me, Field at the other end. Yes, Bollinger can't get it to Bollinger. Kicks back out to Clevenger. Wilson, step back three on the way. Good. 